Hi everyone, welcome back. So let's look at this application problem. No pictures this time, it means we have to make them ourselves. Now it says this, complete a specification for a counterboard hole. It meets the following requirements and it tells us to use symbology in the specification. So first off, you have a hole diameter of 0.257 inches, a counterboard diameter of 0.406 inches, a counterboard depth of 0.312 inches, and a corner radius of 0.031 inches. Now, what's, what does this even look like? Well, first off, let's just draw it. So we get a good idea of what's going on. You don't have to draw this if you don't want to. I don't mind if you don't. Um, I just want you to show me what it would be, the symbology. So first off, we have that hole, which is going to have a diameter of 0.257 inches. I'll put it right there. Okay. And go ahead and mark that. We'll put a center axis down it, just so you know that's a, a hole. And we'll make this a section view. There we go. Now, now that we have that, we have a counterboard diameter of 0 0.406. We're going to go out a little ways. And that's going to have a depth of 0 0.312. So it's going to go down a certain amount. Okay, so I'll go down to here. I am just generalizing these answers I could if I wanted to get a ruler out. But for now, we're not going to worry about that. Okay, so this is the counterboard diameter, which will be 0 0.406. This hole diameter is 0.257, and this depth right here, let's see, make sure I do it right. Yeah, I'll do it like this. Mm. Oop. Come on, right here. There it goes. Slightly different here. Just a whole diameter. 0.312 would be what I need to do right here. 0.312. Then it says a corner radius. Now what is that talking about? Well, this counterboard hole currently has these really sharp edges. Normally you don't have those. I mean, in real life you can't have perfectly sharp edges. There would sometimes be a slight fillet, which is a rounded edge, on the inner surface here. And the radius of that fillet would be 0 0.031. Okay, so this is what we're visually going to be seeing here. We're going to have this central hole. It is going to have a, another hole that is wider, drilled down part of the distance. That hole is going to have rounded corners at the bottom. And we'll go down to a depth of 0 0.312. So now how do we draw this? Well, we more or less write it in the exact same order that is written here. First off, we would be showing the diameter symbol. And then we would say the number for that diameter without a space. Now, to specify that we're doing something different, we go to the next line while still being attached um, to do the counterbore. Now, first we need to tell it that it's a counterbore using our counterbore symbol. Now, we'll go directly under the very beginning of our first line. Counterbore symbol has that nice, you know, kind of like square shape. And then we would mention that what we're about to give is the diameter of that counterbore. We give the diameter without any spaces so far. And now to tell the depth, I'm going to give a space. The space is telling me that I'm doing something different, but this is still connected to the same feature. As the depth symbol, it shows the surface and then how far down you're going. Most of these symbols are very reminiscent of what they're controlling or doing. Okay, and it's going to be a depth of 0 0.312. Then for that corner radius, I go down one more. And I write the radius symbol, which is just a big capital R. And I give that radius, which would be 0 0.031. So this is how I would do it. This is not perfect, obviously. I need to be much better about my fonts, but in real life, you would be having a program at least type this out for you. You just have to know what to type. So thank you for listening. I hope this helps you and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.